Hi and welcome to our video. Today I'll be going through the record section of a HitVision DVR. Start by right clicking and click on main menu. If your DVR was brought from us in Flex CCTV, your default password will be I N T one two three four five. Click OK. Click on the camera. In camera you will have different options depending on what camera you have connected. I've got a TVI camera connected so I've ticked TVI. If you have 3 megapixel cameras, click 3 megapixel. If you have 5 megapixel cameras, on the DVI that I'm using you can only have one 5 megapixel camera connected and three 3 megapixel cameras connected. You can also have HD cameras. In my case I'm going to leave it as TVI. The DVR that I'm using today also supports up to two IP cameras. To get the IP cameras working, all you simply do is connect it to your router directly and the DVR will pick them up. Next is the OCD, OCD configuration. This configuration is for the date, the time, camera name, as you can see here is display name. If I untick that and click apply, you can see that the display name has disappeared. I'm going to leave it on. We recommend you to keep these as default. This is just in case an incident happens and you need to send the video recording to the police. We recommend you to have it by date, month, year. This is to make it much more clearer. 24 hours. Non transparent and not flashing. You can choose it transparent and flashing, transparent and not flashing, non transparent and flashing, and non transparent and not flashing. We again recommend you to have it on non transparent and not flashing. This is to make sure that the date, the time, and the camera name is easily visible. The next is the font. You can choose which font you have. We recommend you to keep it on 32 by 32. The next is the image. Depending on where you've got your camera uh, situated, you can choose which mode you want it in. Indoor, dim light, or outdoor. In my case, I'm going to leave it as outdoor because the camera is looking outdoor. This is to give myself a better connection, a uh, better camera quality. Next is the PTZ. If you have a PTZ connected, you can have a preset codes. For example, if I create a preset code at 152 and click OK, if this camera I was using was a preset code, I could select the PTZ to move into position 152 and it would automatically move into this position. The next is the motion. I will be creating a motion detection video. So if you need to know how to sell motion detection, please wait until our motion detection video is up. Next is the privacy mask. I'll be also creating a video on this. Next is video tampering. You can have video tampering detection on. Video tampering is in case someone is, in case your video is losing picture or if for some reason your video just goes blank. You can have settings Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Linkage, you can have it as full screen monitoring, you can have the DVR make a sound to notify that the video is being tampered with. If you have a surveillance center, you can also have this enabled. Next is send email, I'll be creating a video to show you how to enable email. Next is the upload capture, uh, captured picture to the cloud, then it should trigger alarm output. If you have an alarm output connected to the DVR, it will sound that alarm system. The next is the video loss. If you enable video loss and come into settings, you can have it scheduled on every single day. As you can see by automatically, it's it enables it for 24 7 for each of the days then you get the same settings as the video tampering next is the VCA this is a new setting on the new Hikvision DVRs I'll be creating a video explaining what this is 
Next is the video quality diagnostics. If you have this enabled, your camera will automatically do a quality diagnostic to set it to the best quality. If I click enable, you can see here that it's changed. I'm going to disable it for this purpose. That is the main section of the cameras covered. Next is the IP cameras. Once you have got an IP camera connected to your router, the DVR also needs to be connected to your router. If you click refresh, your IP cameras will show in this section. Next is the IP camera import and export. If you want to import or export any of the videos that was captured on the IP camera, you do it through this tab here. I don't have an IP camera connected, however I will be creating a video in the late future showing this. That is all the settings covered. If you have any other questions regarding a Hikvision DVR or any other DVR, then please contact us and one of our team will be able to help. Thank you for watching our video.